Hello, my sisters. I'm presuming you came across this video because you are thinking about getting gender confirmation surgery, also known as genital reconstruction surgery or sexual reassignment surgery. Um, honestly, I prefer genital reconstruction surgery because that seems to be the most honest to me. But uh, GCS, gender confirmation surgery, seems to be the most popular these days. Uh, which makes sense. It is a confirmation. It is making your house a home and um, making yourself, making you much more able to be comfortable with your body. And um, I, for one, am overjoyed at the results of mine. I had my surgery about six years ago, a little more than six years ago, with Dr. Marcy Bowers, and she was fantastic. Um, you know, uh, and I was prepared for it, you know, I, um, I had been going to therapy for a long time. I had certainly felt like I was really done with having a penis. I, it just felt wrong seeing me have one in the mirror. Um, it did not match the rest of my body at all. And, um, I really wanted to have a vulva and a vagina and um, I'd had friends who had had surgery before and they would told me it was incredibly painful and they were not kidding it is incredibly painful I was prepared for the physical pain everybody tells you it's gonna be painful and you can just assume it's gonna be painful that's one of the most sensitive places on your entire body and to have it dissected and reconstructed into a different position is one of the most surreal experiences you will ever have. Um, thankfully, I don't really remember the pain that well anymore. And um, it's behind me now, but while I was prepared for the physical pain, I was not prepared for the emotional pain. Our our entire hearts, I mean our entire bodies, nervous system is linked together from the heart to the brain to the vagina to the penis. Whatever you have connected is is gonna be communicating with everybody else. And um, after surgery, um, despite everything, and everything was on fire, you know, everything was super swollen and inflamed. Um, it felt kind of like having a strong steel binder clip on your on each side of your testicles um, clamped down all the time, or your labia if you're a natal girl. Um, and there was also um, because most of the erectile tissue is taken away. There was that. Um, deep ache sensation of having an erection that just won't end, um, but magnified by about a factor of 10. And also, like, all of your sensations are not mapped to the right places in your brain, and that takes a while, like a few years, to really figure out, at least a year and a half, I would say, until it sort of starts to feel normal, and now I'm to the point where everything does feel normal, you know? Um, it's all been, I've had the firmware upgrade, upgrade, as I would say, to make the new hardware match the software, um, or vice versa. But I also felt, while I don't feel like I'm missing out anything on now, I do feel like I lost like a good 60% to two thirds of all of my sexual sensation. And that is emotionally devastating. Um, it really is. Now, I'm not trying to scare you away. Um, I'm trying to prepare you. Because maybe you're like me. Maybe you just have to have a vagina. And I know I never would have been happy if I hadn't done it. Um, for example, I actually tried to just have an orchiectomy a few years prior to see if that would be enough. And I could be happy with that. And I was not. I really was not. 
Um, and honestly, I wouldn't even recommend it. Uh, the only good thing about it was I got used to not having the testosterone before having the surgery, but ultimately, I think it was a, a waste of a surgery, and it was a lot of unnecessary pain that I didn't need to go through. So that's my advice. Just skip the orchidectomy and go straight to genital reconstruction. Um, and I'm thrilled with where I'm at now, honestly. I'm very happy with the results. The results look great, even though I had a couple of little problems. They were minor. Um, some of the stitches came out, but it healed just fine. And ultimately, um, I don't really need a revision, which I'm blessed for, because a lot of uh, my friends who have had two revisions on their surgery. Never mind the creaking door behind you. So I just want you to, to know that there's a lot there's a lot to do, go through, both physically and emotionally, when you have the surgery. Um, and I don't think it should matter, ultimately, to anyone but yourself. I did it for myself, I didn't do it for anyone else, and that's the way it should be. But, you know, forewarned is forearmed. And at least I had had, you know, I'd had all of the time to think about all of the physical ramifications beforehand. Um, and this is just me trying to pass along my knowledge to let you know that you should also be emotionally prepared. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to help you answer, um, if I can, any questions in the comments. And um, I hope this is helpful for you. Um, I think it's been a wonderful thing for me to be able to have GRS. And um, I hope it is for you too, should you get it. And should you not need it, lucky you. Lucky you. Um, yeah. It's not something you wish you would have to have, but it's something I had to have just to feel normal. So, if you feel normal with what you've got, blessings. May you be blessed. May you be well. May all the angels watch over you if you do decide to have surgery. May you be completely at peace. May you be enlightened. May you be calm. I love you.